In this video, I'm going to teach you how to read native flute tabs that should look something like this. The great thing about learning how to read tabs is it's going to open your world to being able to play a lot of different music created for the native flute. This is part four of my Learn the Native Flute series here on YouTube, so check out my playlist to watch the other videos. Before we get started, if you are looking for your own native flute or a new one, you can go to High Spirits and use my code GINA for 15% off your entire order. The flute I will be demonstrating on today is the Sparrow Hawk in Aromatic Cedar in the key of A. I will have something very similar linked in the description below. Now let's get started. In case you don't know what native flute tabs are, they are diagrams that show you where to put your fingers to create certain notes in order to play songs on your instrument. The reason that tabs are so great is if you don't know how to already read sheet music, it allows you to learn music a lot quicker without having to learn how to read sheet music. High Spheres Flutes has a bunch of music on their website that includes both tabs as well as sheet music, so make sure to check that out if you're looking for new songs to play on your native flute. We will be using the Nakai type of tablature, which is one of the most common tabs used for the native flute. Now, depending on who is making the tabs, it might either show the flute face up or face down, so that is something to watch for when you are looking for tabs. The tabs that I have chosen today are tabs that show your flute face down like this, and the reason for that is that is how you are looking at your instrument, and so I thought that would be the easiest way to teach you how to read tabs. Another thing I'll mention is that some native flutes have five holes and some have six holes. Most by High Spirits will have six holes, but will usually also have a leather strap over the third hole right here. So ultimately that's why you might see some tabs that show five holes and some that have six holes. If you have a six hole flute and you see tabs for five holes, what you'll want to do is just always keep this third finger on your left hand down while you're playing. Now on the flip side, if you have a five hole flute and you see tabs for six holes, what you'll want to do is basically disregard the third hole on the left hand. So as long as that is always covered, you won't have to worry about it. Now, if the tabs that you're reading are actually utilizing this hole right here, that will not be able to work on your instrument. So just make sure you find tabs, if it is six hole, that this one is always covered. So I'm looking down at my instrument like this. Here is my left hand on top and here is my right hand on bottom. Of course, this will be mirrored for you. These bottom three circles are for your left hand. This circle is for the left pointer finger, this one is for the left middle finger, and this one is for your ring finger. Remember, if you have a five hole native flute, this hole right here will be missing, and if you have a six hole native flute, it might be covered. Now for the right hand. This circle is for the right hand pointer finger, this is for the middle finger, and this very top circle is for the right ring finger. Just remember this, when a circle is colored in, that means that you are covering it with a finger. If the circle isn't colored in, that means that you don't cover it. Now I'm going to show you part of a song from the Native Spirit Songbook from High Spirits, and I'm going to show you how we use tabs to learn it. One thing I will mention is I am playing, again, a flute in the key of A. So if you are playing a flute in a different key, it's going to sound different than if I am playing one in A, so just keep that in mind. You can still use this tutorial, it's just going to sound slightly different. It's just going to either be a little higher or a little lower than what I'm playing. You're going to read tabs from the left to the right. So let's start with the top left. You'll notice all the circles are covered in, so that means one, two, and this is down, and then one, two, three on our right hand like this. For the next note, you'll notice it's the same except the top hole is uncovered. So that corresponds to our right ring finger like this, so that comes up. For the next note, you'll notice another circle is uncovered, and that is the second hole, which corresponds to our middle right finger right here, so it should look like this. Now the next note, that goes back down, so we have one, two, this is down, one, two. The next note, we're going to raise that middle finger again. And the next two notes, we're going to put that middle finger back down. 
Now let's try what we've done so far together, nice and slow. Great, let's move on. I'm going to let you try doing this next note on your own. Okay, so all the circles are covered, so we should have all our fingers down like this. Okay, let's try the next note. I'll let you try it first on your own. So we have one circle on the top uncovered, which corresponds to our right ring finger. So it should go up like this. Now I'll let you try this one on your own as well. So we should have our middle finger coming off on our right hand. Let's try the next one. And we have our middle finger coming back down and there are four of those in a row. And the last note, I'll let you do that. We raise our middle finger and it should look like this. One, two, three, one. Great. Let's put it all together now, nice and slow from the very top, reading left to right. Again, this is part of a song from the Native Spirit Songbook, which is available on High Spirit's website, which I will have linked in the description below. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and also if you have any ideas for future Native Flute videos. Also, you might be interested in my Learn the Native Flute series playlist that I have here on YouTube. Thank you so much to High Spirits Flutes for making this series possible. You can subscribe to me here on YouTube so that you don't miss any of my future videos on the native flute. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok, and I'll see you next time.